Okay, at the time of recording this video, you can see we're on BlueStacks 4.215.0.1019, 32-bit. Back off the mic a little bit just in case it's too loud. Because I might have to do this over anyway. And then we go up here to our display. Display for Exos Heroes to run a little smoother than your normal 1920 by 1080. You want to set it down to 16 by 9 or 1600 by 900, which is what a lot of streamers that play FPS games on the Twitch conform their screens to so they can get a little bit more FPS out of their box without going full 1080. Also, keep it at the 240. That's fine. Your mileage may vary with a lot of these things, but these are just the settings that I have stuck with that seem to work okay just to get a halfway decent experience, if not decent experience, out of Exos Heroes. Go down to our engine here. Bring the compatibility mode, OpenGL for Exos Heroes. Some of the games do change. But also I'm using the software decoding, the ASTC texture beta. Enable that, enable the caching. And I'm letting BlueStacks use as much as it possibly can, which four cores, four gigs running an AMD 2700X, 32 gigs of RAM. And I'm starting it off at 60 frames per second. I end up going to 144 because it can, but just for stability and sense of gameplay at this uh, 60 frames per second, and also how it compares to the settings in game. Also, yeah, enable high frame rates, display FPS during game. So you can see what the FPS is doing. All right, I think that's the main things in BlueStacks that needs to be looked at. I'll give you time to pray to God. Consumed by my great sword! Survive this. Would you know what true fear is? <laughs> 